make a wish just any wish out to the wind and then take one small step towards it as if it has already come to be my wish was to be more comfortable in my own skin doing what it is that I love and I'm so grateful for all your lovely comments and encouragement after the first video so welcome back this inspired creativity blog is called make a wish and I wonder what wish it is that you will make and here's mango enjoying her favorite morning spot on our veranda while I'm off for my walk to one of our local parks. I came across these huge xanthoria or grass trees as we call them. And this one in the middle is just amazing, so tall. I think maybe over seven feet at least eight feet maybe and considering they grow just two centimeters or one inch every year this must be wow about over 200 years old so after paying my respects it's back home for me mango hadn't moved A few scratches and now after she's cleaned herself a little bit more we'll go back into the studio in the last video if you've watched that um, you might remember that I made all these collage papers on the jelly plate and if you haven't seen that video you can find it on my channel um, I also uh, made these prints with um, stencils and masks that I'd made with a glue gun and so I thought in this video that I would show you how I use them as a substrata or um, a base layer for a new work love these this one's amazing just so many layers so much yumminess so much sort of gritty grungy kind of patterned yumminess texture <laughs> so first um, I like to put a few coats of gesso onto I'm using a border like a thin um, MDF board so uh, yeah two or three coats of gesso just to seal it and um, before I get started I just wanted to show you these bamboo cloths that I use they're fantastic I just get rolls of them from our local grocery store they have a serrated edge so, so I can just tear them off and cut them up into squares they're great for the environment um, because they break down and this is a PVA glue that I'm going to be using although I wasn't so happy with it because yeah it just wasn't uh, going on very easily I much prefer to be using um, gel medium which is wetter and easier to apply So I'm just tearing the white edges off of the um, prints and I like to have like an uneven sort of pattern. And then I'm just applying the, the PVA glue. And 
more tearing, more gluing. <laughs> And at this point, I'm not really kind of planning it, it, you know, colors or patterns or anything. I'm just literally laying these down because not much of them is going to be showing through in the final piece. And Mango, yep, she's still outside on the veranda enjoying that last bit of winter sun. She'll probably come into the studio at some point and join me and snuggle up in the warmth so I do go over the top with the glue as well and this is also where um, I prefer gel medium because it actually does flow on smoothly it's very satisfying um, putting up down you know prints of um, stencils and masks that I've created myself I'm just going to lay these down kind of like a mosaic or like a you know a quilt of a quilt of patterns and textures and color And just, it's an easy way also, I love making marks and I do a bit of that later. But this is also a fun way and kind of a meditative way. Gluing just is very mindless. Helps, I just listen to the music that I have on my playlists and just happily glue away. I've torn up some... Uh, tissue paper that I had and that I just um, printed on as well some block of colors so that's what you see with the blues and some of the darker colors that's just uh, strips of either tissue paper or I've used pattern paper so dressmaking patterns so I like to get old dressmaking patterns from opportunity shops or thrift stores and uh, also print on those so this piece that I'm laying down right now is one of the ones that has the pattern I like the stitch lines <laughs> and the sizing and everything I love how that, that shows through so I just do light coats of paint uh, and you can still see all of that beautiful dressmaking uh, what's it called like instruction or you know like the cutting line I've just sped this up so that it's not such a long video this uh, video is probably half the length of the first vlog that I did and once I've got all of these down onto the board I'm going to leave them to dry overnight so I'm just zoomed in and just showing you a little bit of the detail here so these have dried overnight and now I'm coming over with a bit of gesso, a bit of white gesso on a roller. And I'm just going over some patches. Again, I'm not thinking too much. This isn't planned in any way. I'm literally just going over some of the joins, the edges, some of the writing, just pushing back certain areas. And this actually helps with the um, the colours, that the paint that I'm going to come in with over the top. So I'm going to be adding another few layers. I'm going to be doing some mark making and some painting over the top. 
And so once the gesso dries, it changes the way that when you're applying a new colour of paint and it really makes it stand out. So I had wanted to make a much longer video and show you the whole process of um, the painting on this video but my husband's not been well, it's um, flu, flu season and I seem to have picked up a, a milder dose so I just wanted to nip it in the bud and uh, listen to my body it's raining again outside, it's cold and windy and yeah this beautiful new leaf is opening and so I just decided to snuggle down in bed and sleep and dose myself and Mango is keeping me company. So I'm recovering quite quickly which is good but I just didn't want to spend a lot more time on this particular video. So next time <laughs> I'm hoping to show you this is a little peek preview uh, show you a little bit of coming in with some bold colors uh, some contrast a little bit more contrast and going backwards and forwards between knocking the colors back bringing more colors in doing a lot more mark making so you'll get to see that in the next video more of this process i hope you'll join me it's been quite a lot of fun making this video and here i am just writing out the make a wish make me wish So I think it's coming to an end now. Thanks for joining me again. And for more creativity and to see my art, you can follow me on Instagram at Shona Hutchins Art. And I just wanted to um, promote some of the musicians that I've had on their music on this vlog. Oh, no, it's not the end. A few more musicians <laughs> to thank. And, uh, but yeah, I think we're finishing. Yeah. And no, no, we're not. Oh, I wanted to thank um, Photography of the Rainbow Ribbon photographs by the wonderful Michelle Power. Now, we're finished. Don't forget to subscribe just down here. Hit the red subscribe button if you enjoyed this and would like to see more. Okay, see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.